Welcome to this video playing International Master V Guitar. This is uh, Stefan Dox from Belgium. One of the um, biggest improvers in recent years. I had played him years ago in the Belgium League when he was still rated um, above uh, around um, 2300 and um, he's been there for a long while but uh, then started to improve rapidly and now is uh, close to being a grandmaster with a 2500 rating and over the board chess very um very big steps forward okay we have a double fianchetto english double fianchetto and i don't really know that too well i remember this game from the from the candidates i think it was topalov Kayakin with rook c7 and rook back to <laughs> rook back. This was g4 and the rook went back, I think. If I'm not mistaken. <laughs> rook c8, g5, knight h5, knight e4. Huh, interesting. First, at first you think, well, isn't this blundering d6? <laughs> Isn't, isn't this blundering d6? What is the point, really? Hm. I don't understand it. Okay, let's take it. I don't get it. Yeah, there is no point. Probably you just blundered it. It happens. Mm. So, yeah, well, the rook is also a bit unstable. Maybe I should retreat it and get in the idea to play bishop f4. By the way, I played him two times before here on ICC 5 minute and one win, one loss. Okay. But g5, yeah, the g5 was the idea of all this, so I probably should should play it. And now the question is, what is the idea? Knight e4, d6, maybe. Or yeah, it looks like it looks looks like the the way to proceed. So I'd, I got uh, I got uh, a bishop. Knight c5. Oh, yeah. If I take it, uh, not a good idea. I mean, the knight on h5 is really offside, so I shouldn't. Um, shouldn't help him to try to activate this. I can I can just play rook d2, rook d1, and um, get um, get play on the d file. Knight f4, yeah, maybe still knight f4. Hmm. It's a bit uncomfortable to deal with that. I probably have to take it. Okay, maybe go on go ahead on the queen side. After all, this is why I have my <coughs> where I have my pawn. Rook d6, probably not a move. I can go c5, still knight f4. Maybe I should just go back here. Queen is not bad on e4.
Yeah, my next move um, or my plan is to go c5. Okay, so he's playing it in a very direct manner, getting this knight back into the game. <clears throat> Maybe even knight to g4. Yeah, c5. Mm, not clear that this help helps me. But th this could be an idea. Not sure where he's going now. h5 blunders g6. for the six square it's very complicated stuff yeah I didn't really do do uh, yeah I, I really didn't uh, punish this, this spawn blunder on d6 it only I only got to a complicated position where basically everything's possible including a loss <laughs> Time warning. Check. Use the trying to use the instable position here of the the rook. Rook c seven. The idea. Check. Check. Ah, blundering before no yeah that's he can just take that pawn ah, this was not necessary at all No, ah, God, just a damn mouse slip, and this wasn't even so clear. White ah. resigns. Yeah, I can, I can just take this and let let. Okay, when probably I'm lost, but um, he still needs to do it, and um, and real. It's always silly to have those mouse slips. And well, like this, for example, yeah, I'm I'm getting a four. I mean, okay, he will probably see that and play something else but still yeah this is just a bad loss i mean i was totally winning of course right after i take d6 and even here white is still substantially better this was even okay queen b3 here okay check yeah this is not good it looks fancy but it's not good it gets the knight to f6. Hmm. This seems to be better. Yeah, that's probably just a good position. Huh? The, the bishop is just better on the wide open board with this king open. Tough, very tough, tough to play. Yeah, e6 is uh, really just uh, just blundering it. Yeah, maybe I could have um, played it stronger in a way, but no, knight d2 e4 is also good. Yeah. Yeah, what can you do? It was it was pretty much okay what I did. I just 
I spend a bit, a bit too much of time. That that that's clear. And now, and this uh, this rook d7 would looked looked nice, but it it just uh, brought the knight to f6. And uh, well, still there was not much going on. Of course, I just need to avoid check check here to to blunder before I just play a3 and I'm fine. Probably I'm not better or, or anything, but. I shouldn't really lose it. It's equal material. He's got a knight, which sometimes can be tricky. Knight and queen against the king, but not here. I mean, I get I get the bishop over here, and no, nothing's happening really. And uh, this is just just a stupid move. And here, well, I'm just I'm just uh, I'm just worse now, giving after having uh, given up this pawn completely for no reason. Okay. Thanks for watching.